Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas, and I have one of Denise's Tivana tea container boiler things. You pour boiling water in it to make tea, and because it's double lined glass, it actually has a vacuum in there, it stays warmer a lot longer. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to the Snapple boiler idea. We're going to put some uh, special stainless steel wool in there that has a very dark surface to it. And I'm going to see how quickly it boils 8 ounces of water. Now the water temperature was about 65 degrees when I put it in there. I'm going to get a temperature rating on it and we'll go from there. Because I don't want to destroy Denise's uh, tea container, which costs like 20 bucks. I'm going to, actually it was $25. It was a Christmas present last year. That's where the optimal focal point is. You can see that it's actually being blocked by the steel. So optimal focal point is there. You can actually see it illuminated from the smoke with the wooden thing. So up here, it gets hot, but it doesn't get that hot. So I'm going to try to get as much light on it as possible. This isn't going to be an optimal test because I don't want to break that. The reason that I'm doing this test is I have a bunch of uh, scientific Pyrex glass coming in. Uh, some tubing that I uh, found at a pretty decent price and I'm going to be using that to create vacuums for the trough mirror, for the giant satellite dish, for all kinds of things to see if we can get water to boil a lot faster. So we're going to be working right there. This is just a big steel beam. One of the cool things about the steel wool is it really doesn't take up much volume like you think. There's exactly eight ounces in here. When I place this in, you're going to notice the water level doesn't really rise up that much. So we're going to slide this in. This water temperature um, was about 68 degrees right before I did this. So I'm assuming the steel wool is going to make it probably 70 degrees. So we're looking at 70, 75 degrees, somewhere in that area. I'm going to set this in and we're going to see how quick it boils in real time. I'm going to get some uh, goggles just in case something strange happens. I don't want glass flying at me. All right, what I'm doing right now is covering up the steel because I don't want to have the steel hot steel get on the bottom of this glass. So that should allow it to cool down some. Well, not totally, but we're going to put it right in that focal point and see what happens. church bells in the distance. All right, now we're in there. I'm going to see how quickly this, wow! It's pretty instant. So that's instantly boiling that surface water. I'm going to raise it up because I don't want it to destroy it. I got it set so that way the uh, beam isn't on the gold lettering that's in there. Cause... I'm going to stand this up. You can see how violent that boils. That's a really, really powerful way of boiling water. Inside of a vacuum, through clear glass. Now the top's off of that, so the boiling times would be actually, a, you lose probably 30% of your heat right there. So what's not happening is we're not move, losing it along the walls. I'm gonna uh, pull that out of the Fresnel lens with a glove, and then I'm gonna see if that outside's hot. So you're just gonna have to take my word for it. Okay, that's out of the sunlight. And I, I can, I mean, it's warm. I wouldn't want to really pick it up. But it's not, it's not, I mean, it's not like 
Like I can hold it like that. If this was just a regular beer bottle with boiling water in it or a metal container, the heat that you're losing would be so much that would scorch my hand. To pull something out of a Fresnel lens and be able to just grab it, pick it up, it's really amazing. Now, to prove to you that that water is actually um, still boiling temperature, I'm gonna scoot this in and just, woo, ouch. You can see it goes right back to boiling. So if you're gonna build a boiler for a steam powered uh, project, there's really no sense in just going with a regular old metal container because you lose way too much energy. This is probably the best way to do it. This is gonna give you the maximum efficiency. You're gonna get all the light in there. You're gonna get everything to the water. The uh, Chinese water heater tubes, they work, but the problem with that is that they only expose the surface area to the water. If you look close up, this stainless steel wool is getting deep inside the water. It's like a giant heating element, so it works that much quicker. I was able to do a science project without getting Denise mad at me. That worked good. This is just, she'll never know what happened. Let's see how hot that metal got. Now, keep in mind the bottom of this I can touch, so that wasn't transferring heat this way. I've seen in the, the Tivana stores that they actually put a candle under this to heat it, which won't work because they've got teapots that have the same vacuum around it. If you put heat on the outside, it's not going to transfer to your tea inside. I really, I really don't think they know what they're doing. Now we're going to test a little tiny boiler. One frequent email that I get from people is they'll take, uh, they'll try to buy a bunch of page magnifiers, uh, position them in front of a water tank, and uh, even though they get these really hot little spots on the water tank, they can't understand why it doesn't even affect the temperature in the water tank hardly at all. The reason for that is that the size of your Fresnel lens to your project matters. So if you put a Fresnel lens that's the same size as a black water tank, uh, a identical same size, you're gonna get one area of that water tank really hot, but you're gonna be removing sunlight from the rest of the water tank. So it's really not gonna do anything. If your Fresnel lens is twice the size of your water tank, you're gonna be delivering twice the amount of sunlight depending on how much the lens filters to the tank. So what I have is this little boiler for all you people that have page magnifiers out there that wanted to show their friends and uh, they were kind of disappointed with the results. A little page magnifier with this exact stainless steel wool setup, this is a special stainless steel wool. Regular steel wool will deteriorate and rust almost instantly. This stuff will hold up. I've had pieces that last a year. Uh, well, a year. I've had it for over a year out in the rain and everything. But I'm going to put this in this giant Fresnel lens to show you how fast this happens. Now, if you do this, make sure you wear a protective shield or something like that. Wear eye protection because uh, this is scientific glass. So this should... By the way, this water was from the pond, the little pond over there, which is at 58 degrees. And we're boiling already. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. The nice thing about this is that it is double glass. Start a video and all this noise. Wow. All right, we're going to try that again. <laughs>